I heard you make a comment about having a log line <laughs> right. for a ritual. Like movies have log lines yes. and it's one sentence mm -hmm. to describe 700 pages. <laughs> right. So how does that apply to ritual or even to a community if you're mm -hmm. creating community? Well, I think when we're talking about creating ritual, you know, many religious traditions have rituals that are handed down and they don't change much. Mm -hmm. you know? But in the goddess tradition, we're always creating new rituals or recreating the cycle of the moon rituals or the cycle of the sun rituals. And that's part of the joy of it is that it's a field where you can express your creativity. Mm -hmm. But uh, that necessarily means some rituals are amazing and powerful and transformative. And sometimes you get those rituals that just kind of aren't. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, so how do we know? What makes the difference? And I think the difference is partly knowing really clearly what your intention is. Okay. And making sure that intention means something. You know, that if you're doing a long line for a movie... You know, you have to know, like, who's the protagonist, um, what's the challenge, what's the conflict, what's at stake. Mm -hmm. you know? And in a ritual, it's not a bad idea to know those things, too. What's at stake? Uh, what would be different if you don't do the ritual? If nothing would be different, then why are we doing it? Mm -hmm. you know? Hi, I'm Starhawk. You're watching TV for your soul.